Electric resistance heat. Boy, what a misnomer. The term implies that if I increase the resistance to current flow, I will increase the heat that this element produces, which is exactly opposite of what really happens. I've got two elements here. The top element right now is wired in to 240 volts. When I turn this on, that top element is going to start to glow and I'll get an amp draw down here. Now, if resistance meant more heat, then if I put these two elements in series, I should get double the heat, right? Well, it's not going to work that way. So let's watch this thing take off. Okay, we're drawing 21 amps. I can feel the heat coming off it right now. Pretty soon, that top element's glowing. Yeah, there it is. It's just glowing away, having a good time. Bottom one's not. And we're drawing uh, a little over 20 amps. Now, I'm going to hook these two elements up in series. So, there will be twice the resistance, and let's see what happens. Okay, take a look at what we've done here. Now I've wired here, goes to here, jumpers to here, and to there. Now that gives me two elements in series. And let's see what happens to the amp draw. Okay, power on. Notice the amp draw, 11. So it's actually drawing half the power that it drew before because I doubled the resistance. So it isn't really resistance heat, is it? I don't know why they use that term. Maybe they just didn't have any other term they could think of. But it is not resistance because if I lower the resistance, I get half the heat. Now, they're not even glowing. They're warm, you know, but they're not even glowing because they're drawing so much less power. Anyway, a little demonstration of the uh, myth of resistance heat.